Hello, everyone, and welcome to a conversation with Tactical Glass. My name is Erica Nordio from LabTest Certification, one of your hosts today. And joining me as well is Dan Ikim, also from LabTest Certification and our Environmental Testing and Building Materials Manager. Our special guest today is Mr. Jose Ibarra from Tactical Glass as the Director of Product Development. Hi, Jose, and thank you for joining us. Hi, Erica. Thank you very much. Thanks for Hi. having me. So, as Hello, this Erica. Is Hi, Hello, Dan. Jose. Sorry, I was talking over you. No as this is our very hey, first podcast for this series, we should probably let our listeners know what it's all about. So, a conversation with is a set of interviews with some of our longtime clients or partners, a virtual coffee chat to see how everyone is doing and adapting during this new and challenging situation, which is the coronavirus global pandemic. Uh, as we really all are in this together, um, we are hoping that our chats will give some insights and maybe some good information to others who are listening. So after this long introduction, let me hand it over to Dan, who will facilitate our chat with our guest today. Dan? So hello, everyone, again. Um, well, uh, Jose and Tactical Glass are not really uh, long-time clients with LabTest, but um, for the past few months, we actually built a pretty strong and a nice human relationship between myself and Jose. Um, so how did it go? Um, Back in November, if I'm not mistaken, um, Jose asked for a specific test uh, for um, one of his products to be tested and certified for marine industry. Um, and uh, I think uh, early February, um, we had scheduled um, an inspection in Medellin, Colombia, where this factory is uh, manufacturing this um, product. I will let uh, Jose to make a presentation of, of this company. So, was it, please? Yes, thank you very much, Dan and, and Eric. Um, yeah, um, uh, Tactical Glass uh, is a full service company um, in terms of uh, glass and glazing. And when I said uh, uh, glass and glazing, as uh, we are talking about, um, we do, do everything from uh, design, uh, the fabrication, and we also install um, the glasses that we make, and, and uh, basically we are dedicated to the maritime industry, um, pretty much to the um, to the uh, large um, cruise lines. Um, those are our uh, customers, and um, uh, probably you have heard about the news, but uh, anyway, that's uh, what we do. We do everything uh, from the interiors uh, to the you know big windows. Um, balustrades and everything that is needed in one of those uh, ships. Um, as Dan uh, said, uh, probably Danny was uh, before, probably, I don't know, of, uh, last year we started a conversation about uh, our products and certifications and our plans. Um, and yeah, um, I think that uh, we created a great relationship um, uh, working uh, together on this, uh, trying to accomplish our, our goals and uh, receiving all the support from you guys and, and you know it has been uh, a really good experience um in the other hand uh, uh as you already know there are um, some other plans uh continue working with you in some other products uh some other certifications and um seems to be um uh that uh, this has been just on hold because of the virus but uh, hopefully everything is going to be you know back to normal and uh, we are going to retake all those projects um, as soon as possible. Yeah. Jose, um, how is uh, everyone at your company and their families being these days? Okay, uh, well, they, they have been doing uh, good. Uh, we keep uh, contact with uh, all our uh, employees. Um, uh, basically, they have been, um, uh, you know, just trying to uh, um, keep uh, with the regulations and the rules, uh, at least here in, in Miami, in South Florida. I know that our factories in, in Colombia are doing the same stuff. Uh, Everybody is at home. Um, and uh, as far as we know, everybody's fine. 
are just eager to come back to normal and to work, uh, which is, uh, you know, sometimes strange to say, but uh, yeah, everybody wants to come back. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's uh, eager to go back to work, you know, like, uh, hey, I want to go right. back to work. And before all this, everyone wanted to go in on a vacation or waiting <laughs> oh, for yeah. the weekend. <laughs> a work from Everybody work. wanted to have time for a Netflix movie, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Um, yeah, does yeah. your business have any frontline employees, uh, Jose? Uh, no, we don't have any frontline uh, employees. Uh, we know that. Uh, you know, there are many people um, in the front lines, and uh, we are very uh, thankful with with them. Uh, uh, we are a factory, and I think that we are doing a good job, you know, but by keeping our people at home, uh, uh, by following the rules and regulations, and just trying to wait until everything gets to normal. But uh, no, uh, it's a fortune for us uh, that we are not there. Um, is your business currently being impacted by COVID-19? And uh, if yes, was, which I guess uh, everybody is affected by this, how it is impacted? Yeah, um, you know, I said uh, we are in the maritime industry and uh, probably you have heard the news. And, uh, you know, basically uh, the main uh, cruise lines are uh, shut down. They are, they are not sailing right now. Right now. So those are our customers, and uh, since uh, uh, those are the people that we serve, and they are closed, uh, it doesn't make any sense uh, to us to be uh, working on anything since that our focus. So um, uh, we are supporting them on anything that they need. Um, we have received a couple of um, probably requirements, um, but you know the volume that we used to have with them. Uh, the day-to-day -day business, of course, is, uh, it has been impacted by, by this. Um, the, the good news is that uh, we have been able to keep our staff. Uh, we haven't had any layoffs or, or anything like that. Um, so still with our guys, hopefully we are going to be able, we, we don't know how far we can go, but uh, we are going to be able to overpass this together and, and wait until uh, you know those lines are, are back in business. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's difficult in these days uh, to say that you are not being impacted for, for this, for this uh, uh, virus. So a lot for us uh, in terms of, uh, of course, revenue, um, you know, the uh, inertia that we uh, uh, brought uh, from the past, it, uh, uh, nothing to do about it. We just need to... Uh, uh, prepare and uh, ho hope for the best and and uh, make sure that everybody's ready when uh, things get back to normal. Yeah, for sure. Everybody uh, is impacted by this situation one way or the other. Um, what measures has your business taken due to ensure safety of both staff and clients during COVID-19? Well, as I, as I said, we are pretty much um, shut down. So uh we didn't implement anything yet uh but we for sure are, are working on this we have been having uh, you know also meetings with uh, upper management and um making sure that uh, when uh, our guys come back uh, uh we know how to do it as uh of course we know that you know uh, the gloves and, and the masks and everything is part of our uh, gear in that uh, uh, there is going to be a new way to to work. That's uh, for sure. Uh, but uh, it's something that uh, you know we understand. Uh, uh, the world has changed, and we need to change uh, with it. And and uh, all those measures that uh, we are taking and that we are planning, um, uh, it's, it's going to be for for uh, you know be a much a better company. And at the same time. Uh, we are sure that if uh, our customers want to uh, sail again, uh, they are going to have, you know, a lot of measures as well. So we get a better, uh, we better get prepared for that and and uh, make sure that um, 
the way we are going to work on the ships, you know, is pretty much close to the way we are going to work here in, in our offices. For sure. Uh, did your business have to put alternative work arrangements into place, like working remotely or any other means? Uh, well, as, as you already know, Dan, and, and, and for the rest of the people, we are a factory. We are a, a group of factories. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, there is, uh, we don't have the opportunity to make less remotely yet. Um, so <laughs> that <would be> nice, right? <laughs> that would be nice. That would be <laughs> You know, that will be the new way to 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 work, but no, not yet. Uh, however, you know, uh, after management, uh, um, we have been working uh, uh, together from home, uh, conversations, uh, making sure that our customers any any uh, needs or requirements, uh, you know, are there. And at the same time, as I said, planning for, for uh, the future. Um, so, uh, how we have been uh, working, just uh, remote, but uh, our guys, the guys that are, you know, um, in the factory and uh, on the floor, uh, on the everyday business, they are at home, and uh, we are trying to plan everything uh, uh, for the time they come back. So, um, if um, you cannot really work remotely, how is your team staying connected? Um, this is one of the important well, things that we, we realize it's very important to, you know, keep the um, the connection between uh, co-workers and friends. How is your team doing on that? Yeah, uh, basically what we do is we try to make uh, conference calls. Uh, those conference calls are uh, focused on um, understanding and uh, making sure that everybody is okay, that uh, their families are fine. Um, uh, now the the uh, conversations that we have on the uh, team planning, uh, you know, uh, the new things coming. Um, uh, those those meetings are through any of the uh, new tools that we have. Uh, it means uh, by Skype or. Uh, uh, the meetings uh, by Microsoft or any of the uh, uh, big players on there. So that's how we connect, uh, basically. Um, I don't know if you realize, but uh, I just, uh, I was yes, just talk, I was so. ready to take over. I was waiting <laughs> for my moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, as you can Welcome see, it's, uh, it's not a perfect situation, but as you, Erica, was, uh, you were saying, uh, it's the right time not to be perfect, right? So. Yeah, uh, nobody's being perfect right now, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everything is valid. <laughs> yeah. This is the beauty of uh, the situation. <laughs> be ready for anything at any moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, Jose, is there any good outcome you have experienced out of this uncommon situation? I'm sorry? Uh, is there any good outcome that you have experienced out of this uncommon situation? Well, I think that uh, pretty much uh, everybody has experienced something good. And, uh, you know, in one of those meetings, I was uh, really amazed by, you know, the kind of team that we are. We are a family and uh, uh, we have been trying to help each other. And, uh, and, and I would say that it's not just within the company. I think that is something that uh, all of us um, have experienced as uh, you see the people uh, are working together on everything. Um, we are trying to help each other, no matter if you know the other person or not. Uh, I think there are many things uh, you have, of course, a lot of time to um, think about, you know, things that you usually don't, don't, don't think about. So uh, it has been a good time for that. Uh, at the same time, it's a good time to prepare for whatever is coming. Uh, hopefully nothing else is going to happen. But, you know, today's uh, COVID-19, we don't know what is going to happen in the future. So. Uh, we better all get prepared. Uh, at the same time, uh, get prepared to be uh, very people. And I think that uh, that has been really important in this time and a good outcome. 
for sure what don't kill us uh, is, makes us stronger, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, do you foresee any of uh, the changes that uh, your business had to make during COVID-19 continu continuing after all this is over? Because maybe they turn out to be a better way of doing business? Well, yeah, uh, I think that uh, uh, what is going to happen is that whatever we implement for uh, this specific situation is going to stay. Uh, I don't think that uh, uh, that we need to think about this just as something that uh, we need to, you know, just comply with some rules and regulations. I think that this is something that we need to take as part of our lives. Uh, as I said, probably get uh, better prepared for whatever is coming. And um, yeah, I see that those things are going to be and are going to stay for a long time. Uh, some of them are not bad. I mean, if we find um, that this is a much better way to work, meaning uh, it's going to be safer, it's going to be healthier for some reason, uh, uh, it's something that we need to keep. Why not to? You know, so I think as, uh, as um, something good is, is going to come out of uh, this. And um, at the same time, I am a strong believer that uh, these things are going to stay and some of the um, rules and, and, and new things that we do uh, for sure will stay. Thank you very much, Jose. Um, is there anything Probably. else you want to add or you want to ask? Or um, Erika, what about you? No, I was going to say as we're you know coming to the end of this, um, if I don't know, Jose, if there was anything else that you would like to add or maybe some advice for other businesses like yours out there? Well, I think that, uh, you know, there are so many people uh, when you turn on the TV, when you check your, your social networks and everything, you know, just advising and stuff. So I think that uh, uh, I don't need to give more advice to anybody <laughs> else. We, we are plenty of that. Uh, but uh, no, just to say that uh, uh, I understand that uh, probably everybody is um, on the same ship. Uh, however, you know, all of us uh, need to uh, live with uh, what we have in front and uh, hopefully whatever we do today uh, is going to be you know for uh, the good of uh, everybody and mm -hmm. uh, you know it's, it's it's not good to have something like this virus um, but if uh, you know at the end uh, this uh, uh, makes us uh, better people and uh, better co-workers and you know much better relationships uh, before that. That's very true. Yes. Very true. So um, for the listeners, if anybody, you know, was intrigued by what Tactical Glass does and they would like to get in touch with you, how could they contact you? Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't hear sorry. you. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I was saying if listeners, uh, if anybody was intrigued by what Tactical Glass does and they would like to reach out to you, how could they contact you? Sure, they can contact me. Um, I don't know if you want me to give the, the, the contacts or you are going to have it, but uh, they can contact me. I am at the Miami office, uh, phone number 304-624-2448. Um, you can contact me also to my email, jose.tacticalglass uh, at gmail.com. And uh, anytime you can find us also at www.tacticalglass.com. Um, you know, this is the right time to contact us. We we are plenty of time. So, uh, <laughs> whatever you want to interview me, and uh, um, you know, I'm more than available. There you go. We so, will yeah. also make sure that we'll have um, your contact information uh, on our video. So, if in case you know maybe the audio was coming and going, that everybody has the right information. Well, I Great. think we're at the end of this. Um, we, we can't thank you enough for your time and doing this thank with you. us uh, and bearing with us. It is the first time, so we're all learning. Um, we hope mm -hmm. that um, people listening, um, you know, could get some uh, 
good things out of this. And um, if nothing else, to realize that we're all in this together. Um, there, it's not just one or two or even a hundred of us. It's it's really all of us. So uh, we hope that that's the message that went out and they could, um, you know, uh, get some benefits out of listening to us today. Absolutely. So again, Jose, thank you very much. It was really thank nice to spend this time with you. Thank you very much for your time, Jose. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Dan. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.